previous run of any side in the competition right now. Throwing from Alexandri, using Hasegawa, they played it well there, just to try and create Manchester City a little bit of space on this near side. Kennedy also in support, now sees it with a long ball, low along the ground, right-footed. Bunny Short, wants to be further up the pitch than that, here's Greenwood. Wahabi needs an option, sliding challenge came in from Bize, but... Ball went past her, now here is Hep to try and create something again. Alexandri on the edge of the centre circle. Angledahl moving the ball to the right-hand side, flicks it back in field. Kelly, one touch from her, sees it to Hasegawa. Left of centre, now Greenwood out towards that. Far left-hand side for Manchester City again, and Jill Rod on the ball, up against Neville. Hep trying to attack the... Penalty area again, Spurs have eight players inside the box on that count. Here is Rod. Asagawa. And now Wahabi to swing it across. It's a good one, Shaw attacks it! And Bonnie Shaw scores for Manchester City! It was the perfect delivery with the perfect ending and Manchester City have finally broken Spurs' resilience. A bullet header from Bonnie Shaw. And it's Manchester City 1, Tottenham of Hotspur nil. And again, it's him trying to instigate something. Took a little bit of patience. And then Wahabi looked up, saw the ball was on. Shaw in between two defenders on the edge of the six-yard box. And met with that much power that Becky Spencer, a Jamaican compatriot, could not keep out. And Manchester City lead. Bunny Shaw has intercepted now. Can Manchester City get on the front foot? Lauren Hemp loves the driver in the ball here. Jill Rod on the stretch once losing the ball. Tottenham now break away at the other end. A little bit open this game at the minute as Bizet goes in on the right hand side. Takes the long range shot on. It's a fine save from Chiara Keating. Parrying it away to her right hand side. Alexandri's prevented the corner as well. Came from a mistake in the Spurs half from Manchester City. Four on four defensively. Bize was at the shot. And Keating in the middle of a six-yard box can parry it away. Did the ball cross the line for a corner? I don't think it did. Right-footed effort from Bize right at the D. And Keating pushed it away from her own goal. Back into her own half for Greenwood and Manchester City start off one of those passing moves again. 20 pass move resulted in the goal. If you're just joining us, here's Hemp down the left hand side, and Rod's made a good run. Flex the down, shot again! Another dangerous delivery that delivers another goal for Manchester City. And once again, he's body short. City scoring against Spurs just goes hand in hand. Ward found herself in space on the left-hand side. And inside the six-yard box, Bunny Shaw was there. Diving header on this occasion. Ward timed the run well. Waited for Shaw. And Shaw diving in. Sent the ball into the left-hand side of the goal. And it's Manchester City 2. Tottenham Hotspur nil. Minutes to half time, City leading this one 2 0. Rawled out to the left hand side. Wahabi into Hemp, who has to turn against Ale again, which she does. And it's another crossing, that one's over short. Header away from Neville. Comes 30 yards out, Alexandri wants to find short again. Takes it on the chest, and the shot! Oh! It's a first half hat trick for Bunny Short. It's the same story over and over again. The control and the finish is sublime. It's Manchester City 3, Tottenham 0. This time it's Kelly Provider on the left-hand side for the initial cross. Neville thought she'd seen it away. And it was kept alive by Alexandre. Chest control, turn, shot, finish. And Bunny Short makes sure 
It's Manchester City 3, Tottenham Hotspur 0. And for the sixth time in eight WSL games against Tottenham, Manchester City score three goals. It's too good. Alexandri will take the throw in to the edge of the penalty area. Bunny Shaw will then get towards the byline. She's scored three. Catchy pro turn provider in this game. Rod. It's blocked. It will come to Hemp on the edge of the penalty area. Oh, yes. It's becoming her field of expertise. Those curling efforts into the top corners. And Chloe and Lauren Hemp does it again. This time, Bunny Shaw, scorer of three in the first half. Starts the move off. Rod shot blocked. Comes off Ale, bounces to Lauren Hemp, who with her right boot finishes into the top left-hand corner. It's another fine goal from Lauren Hemp. And it's Manchester City 4, Tottenham Hotspur 0. They really did punish Spurs for that missed chance a few moments ago. It's Asagawa. Hemp. In from the left, uses Wahabi now, who's got plenty of space, a good 10-yard radius around her and still manages to find a Spurs player in the Navy shirt. Ball over the top here for Thomas to chase, and she might be onside. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, Thomas saved by Keating. Well, she was being forced out towards the left on the angle of the ball and the fact that two Manchester City players were racing back. And Martha Thomas, who knows how to find the back of the net this season, just couldn't quite there. She's the top scorer in the WSL before this weekend. And uh, City scoring a league high share of 38% of their WSL goals through headers before the start of play today. Five of their 13 goals had come from the head of various players. Oh, it's a mistake, it hems in. Spurs caught napping on the edge of their own penalty area. Hemp stole in, left footed shot, it was always rising. Neville calmly back to Bartrip, but then as Bartrip played it across to Burla, Hemp stole in, had to get that first time. And it was over the bar as the ball sailed towards the top right hand corner of the goal. And Rhodes won this one back. Now City have an air of confidence about them. Drop of the shoulder from Buddy Shaw to the left, Hemp, Rod and Shaw in the penalty area awaiting, Hemp sends it in, Rod sees it home. The simplest of goals for Jill Rod, who is loving life here in the WSL, and loving life at Manchester City, goal number five of the season for her. She started it, and she finished it, Jill Rod. Winning the ball midway inside the Spurs half. Hemp waited and waited for the cross, floated it. I think it might have been going in anyway, but Rod made sure. Certainly got the angle of the ball right to send it across the goal line. A simple nodded header, and it's Manchester City 5, Tottenham Hotspur 0. It's another header that Manchester City has scored. That league high share is going to be their own outright, isn't it, I think? Asagawa sees that central pass to Laura Coombs, who turns it out towards this near side for Wahabi. Loads of space for Hemp, who waves her players forward. She knows that Manchester City can force a dangerous attack here. Lauren Hemp easily past Dale on the left-hand side. In for Coombs! Six of the best for Manchester City, who have run riot this evening in the WSL. Two in two games for Laura Coombs. A fine first time side foot finish into the far right of the goal. And it's Manchester City 6, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Hemp knew as soon as she got the ball, she was waving players forward, then took it on herself, past Dale, the pullback perfect. And Coombs just had to make sure the connection was clean. Right footed, 12 yards out. Thank you very much, Manchester City 6, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Three points to get to Arsenal in second place as it stands for Manchester City. They'll go above Manchester United and above Liverpool too. Cross one game, brilliant save from Keating. Absolutely brilliant from Manchester City, shot stopper. 
who hasn't had all much to do in this game. But that cross came in from the right-hand side. A little bit of whip on it from the uh, substitute IA, left-footed, in-swinging delivery. Header was good enough, it was on target, and Keating pushes it over the bar. Brilliant save from the 19-year-old in the Manchester City goal, who was elected to be number one by Gareth Taylor this season, and perhaps proving why there. Now playing in the Spurs' first team, and down the right-hand side here, here's IA. Back to Bizet. So the one-two gets it tight on the byline. We'll pull it back across. So you've got to be careful. Big block in from Kennedy. Keating had committed, but Kennedy's block sends it away from the goal and keeps Manchester City's clean sheet intact. Short. Oh, that's brilliant. She's flicked it over a player around herself and she sets off here, needing support from Chloe Kelly that comes to the left-hand side. Short challenge from behind. That's a free kick. That has to be a yellow card. I think for Bartrip, Molly Bartrip in the book. Just patting down the grass in and around the ball. Becky Spencer organising her defence, organising the wall. As Kelly sets her sights on Manchester City seventh. She scores from here. You're going to have a right job to pick goal of the game. There's been some crackers. It might even be Alana Kennedy. It will be Kelly. Oh, off the post, off the bar. And behind for a goal kick. It had Spencer scrambling. And she might have come off worse in that as well, Becky Spencer. Chloe Kelly didn't have necessarily the pace behind that ball, but it kept searching and searching for that top right-hand corner of the goal. And smacks into the top of the crossbar and goes behind, it was not far away. Here's Keating. And Keating out wide again to the right-hand side for Kennedy, the far side as we look at it in the closing moments of this second half, and Park is trying to get the better of a defender. Play continues, Park sends it into the box, Coombs touches and great, but Coombs gets it away! Poor touch results in a great finish, and a seventh goal for Manchester City. It's Laura Coombs at the double for the Blues. Fired into the top right-hand corner. It's Manchester City 7, Tottenham Hotspur nil. A suspicion of offside, but Park was in a foot race that she wanted the ball more. A foul was given, but play on continued. And she found Coombs, who took a touch at first that looked like the ball was going to get away from her but the chance never fully left, and with her right boot, fired it. Top bins, top performance, top night for Manchester City. City 7, Spurs nil. Back it comes to the Spurs goalkeeper. Just knocking it around now. Both sides certainly know that time is up, and time is up. Not a bad night at the office for Manchester City. 7-0 winners over Spurs. Sends them back into the Champions League places. A hat-trick for Bunny Short, coming in 15 first-half minutes. The second half started brightly when Lauren Hemp made it 4-0. Jill Rod shortly after made it 5. And then the substitute of Laura Coombs, two goals for her since coming on the pitch, has made it a final score of Manchester City 7, Tottenham Hotspur 0.